honest, it's kind of disheartening. <laughs> is so incredibly hard. Oh my goodness, I'm getting some sun. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I have had a nice relaxing morning this morning, which isn't usually the case when I'm prepping for a market or the day before a market, but that is just how it worked out this week. I thought for today's video, I would film just a little um, day in the life video where I'm going to take you around with me basically. On my day, we're going to be doing a little bit of market prep and a little bit of gardening and just a little bit of relaxing and having a nice cozy day. I've already done a load of washing, I've made my breakfast, I'm having my coffee, I've made some bread, I've been really into making bread lately, just using like a really simple recipe that kind of has like, like a really short fermentation period in the fridge um, and it makes some really great bread that you don't actually need to knead the dough at all. So. It's really great for me as a beginner. I am definitely going to be getting into sourdough, but not just yet. I want to just um, keep it nice and simple for now and then I'll eventually learn how to make sourdough. But yes, tomorrow is a market day. So I do have some market prep to do today, like harvesting some flowers and just packing the car, getting all of my bath salts together um, and really just finding stuff to sell in the garden. So this is not a typical day or market prep before a market. Usually it's a lot busier and a lot more frantic. Um, but right now, this is currently what my flowers are looking like or the majority of my flowers. Um, they're not in the stage in which I'm going to be harvesting anytime soon. I have lots of seedlings that are planted out and I'm propagating, sowing seeds, um, transplanting. I'm in that kind of stage with the flower farm. 
but there are a few um, like jonquils, narcissus around the garden and a few other little flowers that I will probably go and harvest after I finish my coffee. Uh, and with the really limited flowers that I'm going to be bringing to the market, I am going to be doing some jar posies. Just they're going to be $15 jar posies. They usually sell out at the market. So yeah, I'll only have a few, but that is what it is when it's the middle of winter and flowers are very low in the garden. All right, I was getting way too hot in that jumper. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, flowers are really low. So I am leaning towards more on my bath salts. They've been selling really, really well. And I was really hoping that my labels were going to come today so that I could put them on the bath salts. But it turns out they won't be here until next week. But that's OK. I have little printouts of the ingredients of the bath salts. So I just give that to customers whenever they buy some uh, and they don't seem to mind. They don't have labels on them. I'm also going to be harvesting some herbs from the garden, any veggies that I have and probably pulling together some seedlings. Um, probably like some rhubarb seedlings, lavender, whatever I have, but we'll go, we'll go have a look and figure out what we can take to the market. Oh, and I also need to go down and pick up a load of veggies that I will be buying and selling them at the markets as well. So we buy from a local uh, grower who grows all organically, just like the most delicious, amazing produce. Um, but she doesn't have a stall at this market. So we kind of have a little bit of an agreement where I buy some veggies wholesale and then I sell them at retail price. Um, and yeah, it just works out really well and means that we can fill out the stall a little bit more alongside all of the plants from Whitbird Environmental. So all of that, like I'm not worried about the stall not being full at all, which is why I'm going down to the market. It's just more my stuff. My flowers are very low. Dried flowers have been kind of selling out as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of scrounging for, for things in the garden, but we'll go and have a look in the garden. I'm going to finish my coffee, um, maybe play a little bit of Animal Crossing just to kind of, you know, get my um, nervous system at a, at a good pace because I don't really like to be stressed for the markets. And I'm trying this year to really lower my stress levels um, and Animal Crossing and lots of other cozy games are really helping. Uh, so I might do that and then I'll take you out and we will um, go harvest some flowers. So firstly, I'm harvesting all of the narcissus, or these are technically jonquils, which is a type of narcissus, um, rather than daffodils. I really love these. These are the Olachia variety. They're very pretty, um, but they do have a few bugs on them. I don't know what type of bugs these are, but they seem like they're kind of flying away, which is good. Um, but the reason I want to harvest these first is because I want these to sit in water for quite a while before I add them to the bouquet. Narcissus can kind of have this sap that can, I've heard, can kill other flowers in the same vase a lot quicker. So I'm going to let these just sit in water for a while before I add them to um, the little jam jar posies. I don't intend on adding a lot of other flowers to this. I'm going to kind of hero just these in the jam jar posies. But yeah, for now, I will just let these all sit in water. I have the white ones and I have some other little yellow jonquils. They all smell amazing, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, then I'm going to go and harvest whatever else I can. I'll take you along um, and also pick some greenery as well.
So the main greenery that I'm going to be focusing on um, using is this coastal rosemary. This is a native species, a wastringer. I really, really love these. They last so long in water. They're really easy to grow. You can really like hack them back and they'll come back um, and you can shape them into whatever shape plant you would like. A really great hedge. Definitely a must have for uh, a flower farm if you live in Australia. There are a few different types of West Ginger. And I really like this one. You can see it's nice and spiky, nice pale green. I really love this color. And it goes really well with those uh, white creamy jonquils. So I'm gonna harvest a little bit more of this and then see what else I can find. Another staple that I always use is bottle brush leaves, a clistamon. I really, really love these leaves, particularly the new ones. They kind of have a really soft, ferny look. They also have like a really distinctive spike, which a lot of people want in bouquets. So yeah, I'm definitely picking some of these. I really, really am thankful for this plant. Um, it has been like chopped off halfway so it's kind of just like sprouting everywhere which is exactly what I want because I don't want big branches I just want like nice manageable stems so yeah it's a really great plant um, it also the leaves kind of smell a bit lemony which I really like so yeah I'm gonna keep picking of this one uh, then I may go down and pick some leptospermum I think and maybe some ferns down the back and that should be good for greenery Right, this is what I managed to find in the garden. It's definitely not a lot. Yeah, it's not a lot at all. I do have like a little arrangement of different flowers that I'm gonna use for the jam gel posies. So I think I'm going to go inside and make a few of these and also make some fresh to dry bunches with the status. Let's just see what we can come up with. Right, I had a break for lunch. I have a cup of tea now to sip on while I make these jam jar posies. Uh, but before I make those, I have a bucket of status down there that I harvested. Um, and I'm going to be making some fresh to dry bouquets. So I'm going to make up, I think I'm just gonna make two of those and then any leftovers um, I will either dry or put into the posies. So I'm going to work on that first and then I'll get to making everything else. I know this is a very bad angle, but um, that's just what it is right now. I am making the jam jars and I've made one of them here. If it's gonna focus. With the jonquils, a few little cosmos, some feverfew, orchid flowers, some ferns, and that coastal rosemary. I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, so I'm going to try and make another one like this to have two of these and see what else I can make. I might only be able to do four jam jar posies, but we'll see. But I think it turned out pretty well.
Alright, this is all I could make with the fresh flowers that I do have on hand at the moment. To be honest, it's kind of disheartening. <laughs> yeah, that's just how it is in winter. Like, I'm lucky to even have flowers. I know a lot of places don't, uh, don't sell at all during winter. So, like, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just um, more thinking, like, I can definitely... Uh, plan a lot better for future years to be able to have more winter flowers because we are in a climate where it obviously flowers in winter so I can really capitalize on this but I just haven't been able to um, have the time and the mental energy to plant a lot of things the last few months so yeah I'm happy with what I have here. I ended up doing uh, four of the $15 jam jar posies. I've got, I have two of the fresh to dry arrangements. I have one more fully dry arrangement. So these are all $15 as well. And then I have about four um, $5 mini dried bouquets that I'll be selling for like the flower portion of the stool. Uh, and then I'll have all of the bath salts and I'm going to go out now and see what else I can find to uh, pick and uh, take as seedlings as well. The goal for this market is to come out um, around $200 in profit. So I would like to make that and this is not really going to be able to do it uh, without everything else and the bath salts and the veggies so yeah I think we'll go and have a walk around see what we can harvest and take and I was planning on doing some gardening today but I just I don't have enough time I, <laughs> I had a very lazy morning um, but that's okay I'll do gardening on the weekend and do some more garden with me style videos for you then because I still need to drive down and pick up all of the vegetables to sell uh, and then kind of like get my head around what I'm going to be pricing those at to be able to mark them up to like a retail price. And then I also need to just like make dinner, get ready, pack the car, do everything else at the market. So I don't think I want to stress myself out by doing more gardening because I was going to pot up a bunch of seedlings, but that'll be a future video on like what my potting mix recipe is and just yeah some more little gardening bits so I'm happy with this I'm going to go outside and take some photos of these because that's something that I never have time to do is take photos on my better camera so I'm going to do that uh, to get some photos for the website which will be coming out very soon I've just been waiting for the labels to come for all of the bath salts to be able to sell them online and again like we don't have a lot of flowers at the moment anyway, so it's not really worth paying for it to not have any orders come through. So yes, that's a long little ramble about what is in my brain right now. So yeah, there's a spider. All right, let's go take some photos. I just swear this always happens. I feel like I'm fine with time and then all of a sudden I'm late. <laughs> so I need to go and head down and pick up the veggies. Probably won't take my camera just because uh, I'm going to be carrying boxes and stuff. But So I'm going to go and do that. I'll come back and share what veggies we got this week. Right, I've made it back from the greenhouse where I pick up all of the food and I'll show you what we got we got a really good selection i'm very excited for all of these veggies they smell so amazing right so we got four boxes of vegetables it's kind of just a medley of different vegetables apart from these these oh my goodness these were my car snack i usually pick up some car snacks every time i go there 
and I was snacking on these in the car. If you can ever find these, I think they are from a Victorian farm, but yeah, very worthwhile. And they're like full on purple, like it's amazing. <laughs> anyway, getting distracted. So in the first box, we got some choy sum, which is looking amazing. Also got a few bunches of coriander. These usually sell pretty well, as well as some, oh, I think this is bok choy, not pak choy. Yeah, some bok choy. Also got uh, some cucumbers and some zucchinis. These I think are tamarillos. Yep. And a little egg carton. I've actually never tried these before. So if they don't sell, I'll definitely try them out. Also got a bag of green tomatoes for pickling and some dill, which looks really great. Fennel, grapefruits, swedes slash turnips and then and then my favorite box some gorgeous lettuce their lettuce is one of the best I've ever tasted so so delicious and is super fresh so I'm going to go through the prices uh, they gave me that it was for what it was wholesale and they also gave me an indication of what I can sell these for retail all of the veggies so I'm gonna go inside and figure all of that out put these away to store for the night and i was also going through my seedlings over here this is a lot of all of the whitburn environmental seedlings but i think i'm also going to take some rhubarb seedlings probably these three sell them for five dollars each um, which is pretty good for a rhubarb seedling we'll see how they go and if they don't sell then i'll just plant them myself so yeah, it's just a few extra things to take to the market. I do have all of these lavender seedlings, but they just haven't developed a good root system yet. So, so I'm going to have to wait a little while for those. Um, but yeah, I'll take these down and see how they sell. And I'm also going to pick some rosemary and maybe some parsley to also take from our garden. Yeah, the parsley and the rosemary is looking really great. So I'll take a few of those. Can you tell, because I'm talking fast, that I'm getting a little bit more progressively stressed now. <laughs> um, I always do this, but it's fine. We've got everything. I just need to pack the car to get tick that off the list uh, or else, yeah, I will start getting stressed. But, but yeah, I think I'm going to put the camera away now because I don't want to stress myself even more by uh, making sure I get shots and doing all that. So, so I'm going to put the veggies away, harvest a few herbs, uh, and then I will pick back up in the morning probably before the market and then I'll just do a little wrap up of how we actually did at the market as well because I know a lot of you um, like that. The cats are also yelling at me to go outside and he's not happy so I'm gonna have to take her out on a walk. <sighs> it's a busy afternoon. Not happy. Not happy at all. All right afternoon walk time. Good morning. It's early. Well, it's not that early anymore, but I got up early. I have packed the car and I'm all ready to go. So that's good. I think the cold weather is actually good because it kind of wakes me up as soon as I get outside. So then I'm ready to go. But yeah, I've packed the car. I had to go down and check the seedlings um, of all the seeds and plants that I planted. So now my hands are really dirty because the bandicoot had dug up some ranunculus last night so that was fun but i'm going to switch over to filming on my phone probably just because there's going to be quite a few people at the market it's like helping me out which is really nice i've got my friend lauren coming she's going to sell some of her pumpkins and some limes and lemonade so that'll be fun um and i think jeff will be there so so yeah it's gonna be a lot of people i need to go set up make sure we get the spot that we usually get but i will either film or I'll get Scott to film on my phone just of the setup and what it looks like so you can see uh, and then I'll take some photos of what the stall looks like.
All right, we are all set up at the market. This is what the stall looks like. The pumpkins that Lauren brought are so cute. <laughs> Got lots of veggies, lots of fruit, all of the plants. This is all of the greens. And then this is all of my stuff, the flowers and some bath salts. I think it looks really good. I will keep you updated on how we go. All right, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me because uh, the wind is crazy right now, but it's about 12.30 and it's a very, very slow market. Extremely slow. Uh, we have done over 300 in sales, which is good. Um, but we still have a lot left over. It's been really slow with customers. I don't know if it's just too cold, but it is such a beautiful day. But I think the wind has picked up, which can turn people off the markets. But I'll show you what the stall is looking like because we still do have uh, lots of plants and some veggies. But um, yeah, I'm just I'm just sitting here passing time. It's how a lot of markets go, um, particularly little ones when you're just trying to get established, but um, that's kind of how it goes. I'm still happy that I've sold like half of the flowers that I brought down. Some of the bath salts have been selling. Uh, we have, we sold out of cucumbers and zucchini straight away, which was really nice, but um, yeah, it's just like a little bit more foot traffic, which I don't think we're going to get, but that's okay. I'll show you what we do have left. So this is what the stall is looking like. Sorry about all the cars, but, and the sun. Still got heaps of bath salts. I've got these two posies, the jam jars left. One of the fresh to dry bunches. Um, oh yeah, a lot of the veggies did sell. Still got some pumpkins. And then we've got all of the plants, which have been selling actually. There have been a few plants and a few seeds. Um, but yeah, there's so many beautiful plants here. Also the pink lady here is raising money for breast cancer. Um, so the, usually there's like a charity that the market um, has where there's some stalls that raise money. So that's what that is there for. Definitely need coffee today. All right, so it is actually now a week later since the market. I've had the busiest week doing work, um, business stuff and another market as well during the week so it's been full on and I haven't had time to sit down and actually finish off this video so I thought I would grab a cup of coffee and sit down and do that now let you know how we did at the markets it turned out to be not a fantastic market the foot traffic was just really low as I kind of said in that clip that I took during the market and I think that's just how the nature of things go seasonally it was and is the middle of winter it's not particularly the time when people want to um, you know get up early or stay late and go to a market they kind of want to snuggle up at home and I totally get that um, but it is a really hard time for uh, small businesses who kind of depend on markets for their income and I'm slowly becoming one of those people and to be honest it was pretty disheartening so I also do a fortnightly market which is in a bigger town close by and um, that market was also really slow and from that market that I did on Thursday so a few days ago I actually only made $20 <laughs> $20 and that included all of the costs like the stall fee um, which I split with Jeff from Whitburn Environmental so it's $25 each and then all of the veggies that I paid for um, I just I didn't sell enough so yeah I have had a pretty disheartening week market wise which is kind of on trend with the middle of winter but anyway from this market that you saw in this video I've got my laptop here of the um, final tally of things I made a total of $214.50 in sales so that is pre costs um, and you know the fees so $117.50 was from the veggies that I bought wholesale and then sold at retail price uh, but I did buy those for $85 so I didn't make the whole 
117. I only made a little bit of money from the vegetables, but um, it really did help to bulk up the stall while I don't have flowers. Uh, from the limited flowers I did have, I made $70 in sales, $16 from bath salts, and then $11 from uh, like some rhubarb seedlings that I bought and some herbs from uh, our own property. The the costs that I had associated with this market, there was $1.44 that came in for costs uh, for the square fees. So I used like a little FPOS machine and each transaction, there's a percentage of that that goes to square. There was the market fee, which was $6.67. It's usually $20 for the stall, but we split it between the three of us. Uh, and then uh, $85 from the veggies that I bought. So the total that I really made from this was $121.39. So that's our worst market yet, apart from the one that we did during the week, <laughs> which, um, which yeah, was really, really disappointing. Um, but yeah, that doesn't also include all of the costs associated with like the flowers, uh, the jars that I used for the um, little mason jar, the jars for all of the bath salts. Um, yeah, all of the costs associated in the business. I'm not including that, obviously. So it's not like a profit, I suppose. It's just kind of like what I made on that day, which is definitely a lot better than about the $20 that I made during the week at the larger market, which is supposed to be popular. Uh, that one was just super slow and it ended up raining as well. So that also, I think, put a lot of people off. So yeah, that was a little wrap up of um, what we made from the markets during the week. Very disheartening um, and pretty disappointing. And I have also been like just the most exhausted that I've been in a while. So to have like the exhaustion level that I have um, along with, you know, all the other mental health stuff that I'm dealing with and physical things, um, to have that and this, you know, on top of that pile on, it just really hasn't been a fantastic week mental health wise. And like, you know, I'm trying to build this business. I'm trying to do as much as I physically can. Like I physically cannot stay up later at night uh, and do these things and work on the business to build it um, than I already am because I'm just so tired. So yeah, a lot of people just don't do markets throughout winter. And like I have been thinking about that and whether or not I should or shouldn't, but I personally really love markets. Like I love chatting to all the other stall holders and meeting people. So I really do want to continue and I want my face to be there. Like I want to be present there for when I do have flowers, people are going to know me uh, and come and buy flowers. But I'm really learning that flowers are what is driving all of the sales. Um, while I love providing fresh food, um, and having veggies at the store, it really doesn't make me a lot of money, but, but it does kind of tide me over for those really slow months. Yeah, so it's really hard to build a business when uh, it's really slow, but I am investing a lot of this money and pretty much any profits that we make back into the business. Very shortly, I'll have an online store, which I'm hoping is going to bring in a lot more sales. All of my labels came, so I'll show you in a future vlog what all of those look like and kind of my process of finding some um, sustainable, I hate the word sustainable, but like eco-friendly packaging, I suppose, to be able to post all of the items that I'm making, which will be exciting. And I'm excited for all of that and all of the products that I have planned, but still a little disappointed at this week, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. I love selling stuff. I love meeting people at the market. So it was fun. Just uh, need to make a little bit more money to make it worthwhile. <laughs> anyway, like always, if you do have any questions for me regarding the markets or flower farming, starting a backyard business, definitely leave them in the comment section. I'm more than happy to do more videos on this and answer questions. I really want to be transparent and real with you um, that this is so incredibly hard. Like incredibly hard to be working um doing youtube as well which takes up so much time uh and also starting you know a business it's really difficult <laughs> um on top of all of that youtube is the revenue of youtube has just gone down a little bit for me um that's just what's happening and that's a reflection of both the content that i'm producing and also the algorithm that i am not writing right now <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't really have the time and energy to be making all of the different reels and shorts and 
things that the algorithm wants it's just not really me um, so I want to stick to content that I enjoy filming or else I'm not gonna make any so yeah that's also how the YouTube stuff is going then anyway I'm gonna enjoy my nice cup of coffee Annie is having a <laughs> nice look outside out the window ready to go for an afternoon walk soon I think so I'm gonna do that and just enjoy my weekend uh, and really prioritize rest while I can before I start another week and do it all again. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate it. I do have a Patreon page if you would like to see extra content over there that I'll link in the description box, uh, as well as you can find products that I like and use in their discount codes, uh, as well as on my Instagram. Make sure to give me a follow over there to see just extra things of what I'm up to day to day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And until my next one, happy gardening, everyone. Bye.